hi good morning welcome back this is escape forever free here we are teaming together to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness i'm your girl faith if you're coming for the first time please go ahead and click the bell icon and subscribe and stay with us we are truly happy to be a family together as we support each other on this earth's treacherous journey this video is called our one hour alone kickstart devotional guide it is a part of our escape forever free um wholeness plan in it we are trying to encourage each other and support each other in building the healthy habit of spending one hour alone with god every day so you join us here after choosing your best sacrificial time and you watch this video at the end of it you continue you and god alone for one hour so please there are other aspects of our presentations that we do outside of our one hour alone time with god um devotional kickstart so we want you to come and get support with us and let us lift each other up all right again please subscribe if you're coming for the first time special welcome to those who have been journeying and sticking to the plan with us for the last two years and now continuing god bless you all so we're now going to go into our routine starting with prayer and you know the rest will be history let us pray father we thank you for taking us again together for one more one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide with you we pray that we will not stop here but we'll truly continue choosing our best sacrificial time to spend that one hour alone with you tuning in with you seeking and searching after truth let us not father remain at the same place if we if we were drinking milk at the beginning of the first year father i pray we will be all transitioning to hard food right now in seeking and searching after the truth and examining them to come to light father i pray that you'll reveal to all of us here in the hearing of this prayer hearing of this prayer who who are willing to be to be led into greater light and we pray that your holy spirit will truly help us to understand them fully and and as we become convicted that we'll surrender all and not delay our salvation by a second or our obedience by a millisecond father take full control now and give us the daily bread we need for today we pray in your precious name amen all right so we're going to go now into our memory text so we commit a text to memory every week this week's memory text is coming to us from Deuter Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 and 2 and it says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth again Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I'll have to, um, we didn't do the second verse the first time, my apologies there. So we continue to practice this and we pray that God will help us to commit it to memory, to bring glory to his name and to edify souls, even our very own souls in due season. We're going to go straight into the controversy now. So we are at um, paragraph 164.3 where Luther would have appeared before the dad done his presentation and like Pilate many of them received convictions but refused it and particularly we had Charles V boldly stating that he will stick to all that his forefathers had um, laid down for him by traditions including the erroneous practices by default um, that Rome was practicing he refused to um, accept the light and says that um, he would not he would not he, he rejected the light literally and um, insisted that he would change nothing and remain true to duty even the duty of 
rejecting truth even to the ex to the expense of rejecting truth and light i hope none of us will find ourselves in that position as we come into the penultimate of our last days upon this earth but when we receive truth and light that we will quickly without delay surrender to it all right so we're now going back into our reading let us read it says here Rumors of the des of the designs against Luther were this is where we should be yes rumors of the designs against Luther were widely circulated causing great excitement um excitement throughout the city the reformer had made many friends who knowing the treacherous cruelty of Rome toward all that dare expose her Knowing the treacherous cruelty of Rome toward all that dare to expose her corruptions, revo resolved that he should not be sacrificed. Hundreds of nobles pledged themselves to protect him. Not a few openly denounced the royal message as evincing a weak submission to the controlling power of Rome. Honor the gates of ho of house and in public places on the gates of houses rather and in public places placards were posted some condemning and others sustaining Luther. On one of these were written merely the significant word of the wise man Solomon in Ecclesiastes ten verse. 16 and it says woe to thee o land when thy king is a child and thy princes eat in the morning again woe to thee o land when thy king is a child and thy princes eat in the morning they're written in ecclesiastes 10 and verse 16 their placard bore woe to thee o land when thy king is a child the popular enthusiasm in Luther's favor throughout all Germany convinced both the emperor and the diet that any injustice shown him would endanger the peace of the empire and even the stability of the throne. So Frederick of Saxony maintained a studied reserve, carefully concealing his real feelings towards the reformer while at the same time he guarded him with tireless vigilance watching all his movements and all those of his enemies but there were many who made no attempt to conceal their sympathy with Luther he was visited by princes counts barons and other persons of distinction both lay and ecclesiastical quote the doctor's little room end of quote wrote spalatin quote could not contain all who presented themselves end of quote the people gazed upon him as if he were some more as if he were more than human even those who had no faith in his doctrines could not but admire that lofty integrity which led him to brave death rather than violate his conscience earnest efforts were made to obtain luther's consent to a compromise with rome nobles and princes represented to him that if he persisted in setting up his own judgment against that of the church and the councils he would soon be banished from the empire and then would have no defense to this appeal luther answered quote it is impossible to preach the gospel of christ without offense why then should the fear of danger separate me from the lord and that divine word which alone is truth no 
I would rather give up my body, my blood, my life. Words of Luther there responding to counsel. We're going to stop there for today. We see Luther remaining resolute to the convictions of his heart and his soul, remaining true to his conscience, unlike Felix and Pilate in earlier days as represented in Acts of the Apostle and unlike Charles V himself in the same period and the same situation in which Luther found himself fully afflicted and on the gates for um, some great amount of doom that Rome was pronouncing upon him. We fear no foe when we stand in the presence and in obedience to our Lord king and maker without apology we follow all his commands and all the truth and light which our consciences have re received conviction may we be encouraged to be bold and resolute like this reformer dr martin luther we're going to go now into our meditation on him our hymn is still number 290 turn your eyes upon jesus we will do stanza two through death into life everlasting he passed and we followed him there over us sin no more hath dominion for more than conquerors we are turn your eyes upon jesus look full in his wonderful face mm, the thing earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace hallelujah let us pray holy and righteous father we thank you for your grace we thank you for your glory we thank you for your mercy we thank you for the words that we have received father from the history pages recording the experience and the commitment of the reformer dr martin luther father i am truly encouraged by the boldness courage and the and the commitment and surrender of this man to truth light and all that your holy spirit would have convicted him of Father, I beg and pray that all of us in the hearing of this prayer who want to receive that kind of sealing in the truth, that kind of boldness and resoluteness to stand for you, may all of us receive that spirit within us now. And please, God, do not take it away from us. We beg for your continuous anointing. Pour out your early rain and your latter rain upon us because the time in which it is all to be needed, Father, is yet at hand. And we do not want to find ourselves without the seal, especially when the plagues would have hit us in the last days of this earth's closing history. Father, keep us faithful to the end and help us, Father, to warn and guide men unaware of the dangers that are chasing after them as the devil seeks to devour as many souls as he can because of course he knows that his doom is sure have mercy upon us all and save us in your kingdom we beg in jesus name amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer Thank you so much for joining us. Please, I beg of you, examine truth and light as if your life depended upon it. Because indeed it does. Like the barons, may we leave nothing to tradition, to for parents, some of who are some of whom are dead, right? For parents, um, to, to, to traditions of our parents and our foreparents. May we trust instead the Holy Spirit's leading and the Holy Spirit's leading only as we seek and search and serve God with all of our hearts, search after God and serve him with all of our hearts, our minds, our strengths and our souls. So follow the blueprints so that you'll be able to walk good and thereby walk with God. See you in our next video. Do continue for one hour, you and God alone. One love. God bless you.